Oh, I tell you, eh? I'm so excited to tell you about this, this here, first Canadian shave soap. Shave it up! Hey everybody, Clean Shaver here. Now nah, I'm gonna stop with the accent, I can't keep that up. So, I am excited to tell you about this awesome soap. First I did a shave, so I went ahead and did a head and face shave on this one because I had been waiting. If you watched my last video, you saw my head get butchered and so I needed to wait a little while to shave my head. So I did, and it feels great in this rabbit fur hat, by the way. So you can watch the shave video down here. I'll tell you a little bit about what I did. So I've got this, I actually got two scents from the uh, first Canadian Shave Soap Company. It was nice enough to send me two soaps. So I got one that is bay rum and lime, and then one that is esters, peppermint, and grapefruit. So I use the bay rum and lime tonight because I'm a big bay rum fan. Anybody who watches my videos knows that. And good stuff. So I use this soap tonight, right? I also use my Scott Pavkovich uh, tulip, Ghost Trails Tulip. I love this brush. This is probably my most commonly used brush when I'm trying out new soaps because it's just excellent backbone, excellent splay, and great feel to it. So I used that tonight. On my head, I used a Schick Injector. Um, I don't know why I don't use this more often. It's a great head shaver. And then on my face, I once again used this infamous little beast, uh, an old Gillette New Type Ball and Tech. Open comb with a feather because I'm stupid like that. So, then as an aftershave, I went ahead and used a Soap Commander's Purpose Aftershave Balm, another Bay Rum scent, one of my favorites, and then Captain's Choice Bay Rum Aftershave. Okay, so let's get down to the points. All right, now I have four categories for points. First is lather, that includes ease of lathering, cushion protection, and glide, okay? Now, this soap, when I was lathering it up, it built up very, very easily. Very easily, in fact, when I had just a soaked brush, whipped most of the water out of it, and just worked the tips on the soap, then it built up very, it actually caked up very nicely on the on the tips of the brushes, or tips of the, of the fibers, and that allowed me to do a great, uh, head and face lather, that's what I prefer to do. Um, I'm sure that if you built it up like this into a bowl, you can do a great bowl lather with it. So, lather, ease of lathering was great. The thickness, I was really pleasantly surprised at how thick and how cushioned the, the lather was when I got it on my head and on my face. Very easy, especially the first lather, which we would kind of expect. The glide was very good, cushion was very good. I felt very well protected and it performed very, very well. The only thing that I have to knock it down a bit, so if I were to rate those three categories, the ease of lather, the cushion, the glide, those would all get tense. But the only thing that I have to knock it down a little bit is it seemed to break down a little bit as I, when I got to my second and third passes. I, I, to get it to spread just a little bit, I had to add a little more water and it just broke down a little more than I, a little sooner than I felt like it should. So for that reason, still a very very good score of 9.2 so I'm I found myself having to split hairs with scoring this soap because I don't feel like regular straight up integers are gonna do it a, a good enough justice I it was in between in so many places that I didn't feel like I could you know one number would be too low the next number up would be too high so I needed to split it so lather 9.2 now post shave feel also an excellent feel to the the post shave. I, I really didn't feel, if, if it weren't for some irritation that I had with regards to my razor, had nothing to do with the soap. If it weren't for that irritation, I probably wouldn't have had to, had to use an aftershave balm. It was that good. So for that reason, I'm giving it 8.7. Very good. Not the best that I've had. Not the absolute best that I've had, but still very good. Very, very, very solid score. 8.7. Now scent. This is where it loses it just a little bit for me. Now, this scent is very, it's, it's a good scent. It, you get the bay rum, you get the lime, but I would like a little more, personally, this is your mileage may vary, 
the scent, I would want, want just a little bit more spice in it. So that being said, anybody who is looking, who likes the smell of bay rum, but maybe has a skin sensitivity issue with the spiciness, this might be one to look at because it is, the spice is a lot more laid back than other bay rums that I've tried. So let that be known. The scent itself, when you're smelling it off the puck, is very subdued. I would say scent strength, probably a three on a scale of one to 10. It's, it's very subdued. But when you start lathering it, it expands a lot. At that point, when you start lathering it, I'd say that the scent strength goes up to a five or six. It's just right in that sweet spot. Really, really enjoyed it. So scent, I... I would tweak it personally to suit my taste just a little bit. And so for that reason, I gave it an 8.2. Eight was too low, nine was too high, split it more toward the eight side. So 8.2. Now value, this is gonna be a good surprise for all of you. If you haven't gone and checked out uh, Brian's Etsy shop, do it, okay? So it's etsy.com slash CA slash shop slash first Canadian shave. I hope I got that right. I'll put it down here in case I didn't. And I'll put it in the uh, description below. So a four ounce tub like this. Now it's the same size tub. I'm, I'm guessing that he does a seven and a half ounce in, but I like the four ounce size because it gives you room in here to lather. A four ounce tub of this soap is 11.55 US. It's $14 Canadian. So, and, and you might say, oh, that's, that's, that's a good deal, you know? But it's only five bucks shipping to me, which was, I'm like, oh, wow, yeah, that's, that's awesome. You know, to get a soap that is this good shipped to me for five bucks from Canada, great deal. So four ounces for, for 11.55, seven and a half ounce, which is a big tub, that's a lot, for 18.15. Also a very good deal. Uh, you can also buy the four ounce puck without the, without the container, which Christopher David Bailey, you'll be very happy. It's a plastic container, screws on, and very sturdy, very stout. You can also get a four ounce puck for just 825. Eight, eight bucks gets you this soap. That's awesome. That's a great deal. So for value, I'm giving it 9.5. So that score added up, 9.2 for lather, 8.7 for pro shave feel, 8.2 for cent, 9.5 for value adds up to 35.6 out of 40, which is 89% exactly. So that is a strong B plus, almost an A minus, almost an A minus. So, and that's for me. The scent might be exactly what you're looking for, so it might be an even better score for you. I gotta say, I recommend this soap. Oh, it's upside down. First Canadian Shave Soap Company. Mr. Brian Hoffman makes a great soap. I, I, I definitely recommend this. The lather was great, the performance was great, and it's as Canadian as Tim Hortons, the Maple Leaves, and Strange Brew. Get this stuff. Now, those of you who might be wondering about the uh, Esther's Peppermint and Grapefruit, I haven't used this yet. I'll follow up on, on it with uh, maybe with another video, but very interesting scent. You get the grapefruit, you get the peppermint. Worth checking out. I, I think I'm gonna definitely enjoy this during the summer. The peppermint in there and the, and the grapefruit, that's gonna be a good summer scent. So anyway, thanks for watching my video. Put, if, you have, if you've tried First Canadian Shave Soap Company, put it down in the comments se section below. Tell me what you've thought. Uh, if you have any questions for me about the soap, put it down in the comments. And don't forget to like, favorite, share, and subscribe to my channel. And uh, I appreciate the support. Thank you, Brian, for sending me the soaps and letting me try it out. This has been awesome. I, I am, I'm very surprised by this and very enthused about it as well. I recommend this soap. So it's got the clean shaver stamp of approval. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Be smooth. We'll see you next time. Shave it up.